Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a great variety of high quality 3D models and it is updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of a ski jacket. Let's select a 3D model that suits us from the vast provisual library. Let's take a closer look. This 3D model looks amazing. So detailed. Let's create a new project. This is what our default model looks like. Let's start setting up the materials. Let's start with the outer side. This material already looks great. Let's change the color of the material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Next, let's change the material settings to the desired result. Great. Let's copy the material settings and apply them to the pocket and then to the hood. We will also apply the same material settings to the sleeves. Exactly what we need. The base material of the jacket is all set up. Now let's move on to setting up other parts of the jacket. Let's go to the pocket label and change the material to a more textured one. Next, let's change the color of the material and add a bright accent to it. Then let's change the material settings a little. The next step is the cuffs. Here we will also change the material to something brighter and more expressive. This material suits us. Let's change the colors. Then we will change the size of the material texture. You can set any texture size by entering the value manually, like this. Next, let's move on to the inside part of the jacket. Look how detailed the material is. Looks absolutely great. Select the body inner side element and change the material. Now let's change the color of the material. Next, let's adjust the material and change the texture size. We'll copy the material settings of the inner side element and then apply them to the sleeve inner side element. Let's go to parts and configure the eyelets element. Here, we will also change the material and its color. Now let's copy the material settings and apply them to the eyelets element. And then apply them to the zipper slider element. Next. Let's set up the laces. In the materials gallery, select a material with a different texture. Then change the color of the material and customize the material itself. Let's go to the retainers element and change the material too. Next, let's change the color of the material and customize it. Moving on to the element called Velcro Pocket Inner Side. Here, we will use the Alcantara material and paint it in the color we need. Next. 
Let's go back to the top of our model and set up the loops. Let's change the material to a more suitable one and give it a different color. Next, let's customize the material. Now, let's set up the zipper. Here, we will use the same material as on the cuffs. Let's copy it. Great. Now, we will work with the stopper settings. Let's change the material to something more glossy. Next, we'll also change the colors of the material and adjust the material. Now, we're only left with seams. Select the seam's body element and set the appropriate color. Next, select other seam's elements and apply the same color to them. Perfect. Next, let's go to the environment settings. Here, we will adjust the lighting to make our model look more voluminous and attractive. Great. The next step is to add a design to our 3D model. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our jacket. Let's add the first image. First, let's do the back. For convenience, let's turn the model and place the design, following the UV map. Great. Now let's add a design to the sleeves. To do this, click on the Add Image button. We'll also place our design based on the UV map. Excellent. Now let's add a design to the pocket element. Nice. Let's save the design. Next. Let's set up the material of the design we just applied. Select the design layer to activate it. We will select the good material from the gallery. Next, let's configure it a little to get the result we need. Great. Now, let's copy the design settings and apply them to the sleeve design. Select the design layer and apply the settings to it. Just what we need. Now, let's make the pocket design more vibrant and memorable. Select the design layer. Next, let's change the material of our design. Yes, this is it. Looks very stylish. Let's customize our new material.
Wow, just awesome. Need a good background for our 3D model. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill. Linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or, add your own image. Let's add one. Good. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light can enhance the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Let's save our project now. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And this is the end of our tutorial on creating a ski jacket design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.